Hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back to Lostistan in uh, the Soviet Republic with um, resources and workers. Right, okay. So uh, we've got some stuff going on here. Uh, notably, we've got an oil field with uh, one or two bits of stuff going on here. And, you know, we're uh, filling up the uh, oil thingy here. And uh, the uh, refinery thingy here is doing its thing. And we are doing something. We are filling up. We have bitumen there and we have fuel there. Okay, right. So we're filling up our uh, reserve there. Now, what I can... Uh, just checking on what I was doing here. Now, if we check in here on export, we're exporting bitumen and we're exporting fuel. Okay. Uh, last month. Okay, so we're definitely exporting some a decent amount of stuff. Good. Okay. Right. Now, off camera, I've been uh, messing about with, uh, with a uh, game where I've been uh, uh, avoiding purchasing buildings. I've been uh, building, like, working with a construction industry, right? So, uh, I'm thinking uh, what I want to do is see how much of, of that sort of thing I can get operational. Now, uh, how much of that, I'm not sure. Uh, but this, um, this border crossing is somewhat congested. As is that one. Uh, we've got, uh, I've clearly picked a less than ideal border location here. Uh, yeah, we don't have any big border stations on this side of the, uh, the map, do we? No, we don't. No, the biggest, the big one is down there. Oh, wow. Well, it doesn't really matter too much because, uh, the, uh, border stations are blocking anyway, so you can't have more than one vehicle moving in the, the border station at the same time. Right. Um, okay, so what I want to check on here, uh, we've got some, uh, workers here. They don't have a kindergarten. Um, no, that should be fine. Um, actually, I think the thing I need to, uh, get up and running here, uh, relatively quickly is a, uh, A uh, university yeah uh, so I'm going to uh, go in here education related I'm gonna go with a technical university because that allows us to do research and I'm going to stash it where probably up here yeah I'm gonna need a road first Yeah, I'm going to get this uh, operational first. Okay, we can have a road there. And we can have a road here. Yeah. And we can have a road across here. Yeah. And we're going to build that with rubles. Um, right. Now we can go up in here. Grab a technical university. And... Right. Bash that in. Now, the question is... If we were to build that, how much does it cost? 131k rubles. 
200k dollars. We're not doing shit with dollars. So let's, uh, let's, uh, do that. Uh, right. Now, we'll come in here, connect that up. Okay, so that should give us, uh, yeah, this should give us a, uh, uh, a, a supply of uh, trained workers, right? And I'm going to uh, build these. Uh, while I'm at it. Okay. Yeah, once I get this um, ticking along, I'm going to uh, start working on... Uh, I'm going to work on some other industries, right? Uh, and one of the things I'm going to do is get, get a construction office online for actually building things and a uh, supply dump depot thingy uh, where uh, I can drop off uh, stuff for the construction uh, office, right? But we're going to let the, uh, the university uh, get built and then we'll see what happens. We're up. Building is without power supply because of course it is. Uh, we need this this and can't build due to infrastructure yeah you didn't have to announce that right okay well, if we put that there, and we go in here, and we build that, and we build that. Building still without a power supply. Yeah. Uh, right, no, you need to build the wires too, you idiot. Okay. Yeah, we'll build the wires. We can get, we can build underground wires up to there. Yeah. Build it. Good. Building has a power supply. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to drop the uh, employment level here to uh, a smaller amount so it doesn't eat up all, our entire workforce. Uh, right? Okay, now we're going to go down here, and we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, we're going to drop this down so we don't eat the entire workforce. Yeah. Okay. Now, in here, yeah, we've got no one living there. And we, okay. There's something else that I uh, picked up as a tip while I was offline. And that's, uh, we can go in here and we can like make an indoor pool, which will uh, also serve as uh, keeping people happy and it'll work in the winter. And that is potentially uh, game changing, right? Uh, yeah. So if we stick that here, and we do this, and this, and then we go back over here. Um,
Yeah, so if we do that, good. Uh, this, uh, when we get some staff in there, that should keep our people happier in the winter time. There we go. Uh, now, let's, uh, let's just, uh, uh, Let's uh, look here. Yeah, we got people that are mostly happy, so so we're good. Uh, right. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to get some uh, some other industries online. Uh, yeah, that does seem like it's a, a, the sort of thing to do. Now we got some some uh, stone here. Do we have a bigger stone deposit somewhere? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, we have big one down here. Uh, maybe we'll use that for gravel. Uh, perhaps. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, do some uh, some leveling. Uh, I think. Uh, now, if we go in here, level from center. And if we pause it, uh, yeah, so if we turn on that stuff, aha, so the question is, what are we going to do over here? Well, I'm going to build a uh, warehousing operation over here that that's the uh, the idea so I'm gonna build uh, storages and uh, transport uh, and I also want to make sure we have room to build the um, build a rail line into here as well Okay, yeah. It takes a bit to do this here, uh, leveling malarkey here. But, you know, it does make things a little bit easier if you do this first. Now, uh, what are we going to need here? We're going to need uh, an open storage. Um, and a warehouse. Yeah, we're going to need open storage and a warehouse. And, the, and we're going to need some sort of uh, road rail station thing. So that's the, the basic idea here. So what we'll do is we'll install a... Uh, road cargo station and we'll potentially also install a uh, rail station but I'll definitely start with a road cargo station uh, mostly because that's going to uh, that's going to be enough uh, transport initially Okay, so that's enough leveling. Yeah, that's definitely enough leveling. So we'll turn off the topographics. Now, no. Now, in here, storage. So open storage. We'll put a medium open storage in here. Now this has rail. Okay. So... So if we put that uh, up here, like uh, this, yeah, we'll just drop that there. And we have a warehouse, which also has a rail connection, which we can put here. Here. 
Now we're also going to put a uh, Uh, we want a road cargo station. That's yeah, a road cargo station. Yep. Okay, so we can do a road cargo station, and if we put that here, no. We put that like this. Yeah. If we put that like this. Yep. And then if we go go back over here and we grab a storage, a warehouse. Um and we do it this way, we can put the warehouse here. Yeah? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, so that gives us, uh, right, and then we want, I might want to put a meat storage here as well. Meat storage does not have, it doesn't have a, uh, rail, but that's fine. We can stick that in there as well. Right. So this is our storage complex. Now, from here, um, right, uh, we'll be able to run rails out of there this way so we can bring stuff in from other locations if we like. And the road cargo station will, uh, uh, will, will allow us to feed everything, right? Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get set up so that I can import everything directly from the border. And then I can start setting up a uh, construction uh, operation, right? So we'll start by constructing this thing, right? We're going to also uh, increase the speed of everything. So we'll build that. We'll build that. Uh, we'll also build this. And of course these. Right. Now, if you were playing uh, a Cosmonaut mode or something where you were going to build everything uh, that you, you at all possibly can, you still need to build one of these complexes before you, uh, before you can actually uh, do much of anything. Okay? Uh, so... Uh, I'm going to bring this road out like this. Okay. And then it's going to go like this, and then like this. Okay. So we're going to have a road there. We're going to connect to the warehouse. We're going to connect to... The road cargo station, because that's kind of the point of everything, isn't it? We need a road here. No. No, we need that a little bit further away. Okay. Uh, we need a road, say, over here, uh, which can go up to here. That can connect there. And this can connect all the way out here. Okay. This will give us uh, our transport operation. Okay, so we'll uh, construct the roads. Okay, good. Now we can go in here and we can adjust our uh, amounts here. So at the moment, we're not going to import chemicals. 
or crops. We're not going to import. Uh, we're not going to import raw materials or alcohol. Uh, we will import food, clothes, electrical components, and mechanical components, but not plastics and not electronics. But we're going to want a larger import. of uh, food and uh, clothes than we do for these here other uh, items. Uh, these we don't need a huge amount of, uh, mostly because, uh, well, yeah, okay, so we'll do it with that, that amount. Most because we don't need a huge number of those. Now we'll go over here. Uh, we're going to be importing steel, but we're not going to import aluminum. We will do prefab panels, bricks, but not wood. And we won't import uranium oxide. Right? Uh, and we will reduce the steel target by a fair margin. Okay. Uh, so we don't uh, go bankrupt there, and then we'll import however much meat that we want. Now, we're going to use a distribution office to manage the uh, imports. Uh, so, we'll uh, put one of those up here. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, right. So, the distribution office can send its uh, vehicles out to uh, do the imports as needed, right? Right, okay. So, uh, I'm wondering if I should send the import stuff up to the to one of these other border crossings. I think maybe not. Okay. Uh, we're also going to need gravel, but I'm going to build a gravel industry here, uh, and that will sort out the uh, the gravel needed for construction. Uh, so in here, uh, we're going to uh, uh, we're going to go in here, and we're going to uh, manual purchase nothing. Okay. Now, what do we need here? We need we need a refrigeration truck. No. No, we're going to have a separate uh, one for importing food and stuff, I think. No, okay. Open hull. Uh, this uh, does steel, boards, prefabs, uh, wood and bricks, right? Yeah, all of that stuff. So we're going to need some open hull, and that's uh, 13 tons. 13 tons at 62, yeah. We'll put a couple of those in there, three of them maybe. Um, we're going to need uh, dry, no, covered hull. That will get us... Um, Electro, electrical components, uh, mechanical components, right? So we'll get a couple of those. Um, now we'll get a refrigeration truck here because we, yeah, we got the uh, capacity here to do that import. That'll bring meat, right? Um, covered hull, that brings food as well, right? Yeah.
Yeah, it does. Food. Yeah, we'll add a few more of those. Okay. Right. So, uh, we need to assign some tasks. Right. Okay. So, uh, we're going to assign some tasks. Uh, we'll add a connection over here at the border. Yeah. Bam. Uh, and that's going to be a load, and we're going to do steel, uh, prefab, bricks, boards, uh, food, clothes, components, electronics, meat. Yeah, that's all we need to import there. And then we go over here. And we're going to unload. And that's going to be steel, prefab, bricks, boards, uh, fabric, no, alcohol, food, clothes, components, meat. Okay. And this is going to, we're going to go up to 90% here. So we're going to keep that, uh, that set up. Now this is going to be, uh, we're, we're going to call this Lost to Stand Import Inc. Right. Because it sounds cool. That's why we're calling it Inc. Uh, okay. Now you are fuel distributors. Okay. Uh, we want to add a task and we'll drop fuel in there. Yeah. Keep those topped up at 90% for the fuel. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. And we are filling up our uh, allotment of stuff. Okay. All our trucks are busy, and now we are importing things. Right. Now we can go and uh, adjust our setups over here. Uh, we have a uh, grocery store. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, what are you? Heat exchanger. Ah. I'm going to change things up over here, and I'm going to put a uh, shopping center here. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be under equipment for citizens, isn't it? Uh, equipment for citizens. Shopping center. Small one is big enough. Now we're going to set it up this way uh, just like that and this is going to get attached to a, a road cargo station uh, why because with the road cargo station I can actually yeah if I set it up this way it'll work better uh, I can I can park three trucks here for the deliveries, right? Uh, and have them wait until uh, uh, unloaded, right? Uh, we're gonna build that, and we're gonna build that, and we're gonna build this. Okay. Good. Now we're going to go in here and we're going to do this. We're going to not do electronics. OK, 
Okay. Now, uh, do I, I have a, a road depot? I do. So we're going to set up uh, some uh, uh, trade, uh, some lines here to get all of this uh, fully operational. So we're going to need here a uh, refrigeration truck. That's for the meat. Unemployment's too high. Uh, okay. And we're going to need a, a, a couple of covered hull. Um, and that's going to be for food and clothes. Okay. So, uh, refrigeration. We're going to... Uh, we're going to do... We're going to pick up directly from the meat storage so we don't block uh, the uh, road cargo station here too much and we're going to drop off here and we're going to wait until unloaded and then we're going to go over here and we'll wait until loaded okay now we don't need to select this because there's only one right uh, okay and then we're going to start that and um right so that's gonna go over there yep okay now um i'm gonna go in here and this is soviet chums meat delivery right save it good okay right and then we're going to go back over into our road uh, depot thingy here and we're going to grab this one and uh, we are going to uh, add a stop and we're going to pick up here and drop off here right and this is going to be here we're going to load food wait until loaded and here we're going to wait until unloaded with food right right i'm going to start that and this is going to be Soviet chums food delivery. Right, okay. No, save it, yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do the same thing again. Here to here, and this is gonna be a wait until loaded for clothes. And this is going to be a wait until unloaded for clothes. And that's going to be a start. And then... And this is going to be Soviet Chums Clothes del Delivery. Right. Okay. Save it. Good. That should be enough to load this guy up. Um, and when that uh, gets sorted out, now how busy are, are you? Um, no, we've got, okay. And here, we just need these guys to actually deliver something. Right. And that will, uh, so this should... Um, okay, come on, guys. Get where you're going. Okay, we got something coming up for delivery here. Food. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
And then we're going to have uh, clothes, right? Uh, right. So everyone's going to buy everything up here really quick. Uh, just because uh, they don't have their stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this grocery store down here and this store here. Yep. Um, right. Now, uh, we're going to also get rid of these uh, useless road bits. And also the useless path bits. Okay. Right. I think that should mean that everybody can get what they need up here. Uh, we don't have uh, electronics, so yeah, uh, that is uh, that is missing, of course, because it's missing. Right. Uh, okay. So this uh, should be fine. Good. Now that's doing its thing. Uh, this is doing its thing. Uh, how's this doing? It might actually be uh, increasing in total storage. Uh, and so might that be. So I can possibly up my uh, export game for bitumen at least. Um, right. All related vehicles. Um, that's a sister. I have an extra one of those, don't I? I do. I can uh, add that dude to the uh, bitumen uh, exports. Yeah, uh, so that'll just increase the uh, income from that. Yeah. Okay, so we're definitely doing something here. Now, the uh, number here will keep going down for a bit as the uh, storages that we've just deployed over here uh, fill up, right? Uh, so this stuff will uh, will fill up uh, as we as these trucks run back and forth, as will this, right? Um, but that should uh, that should cost fewer rubles because we are now paying the import costs directly by our uh, trucks. We're producing our own fuel for the trucks, and we are now importing food and uh, meat and clothes over here instead of at a store, right? Yeah, so that's, um, that's definitely going to uh, make some sort of a difference. Uh, we got nobody in there. We got nobody in there. Okay, so we got lots of uh, places for people to live. Okay, so we have this. Now, uh, what I uh, what I want to do is get a gravel industry going. Uh, gravel, which will come from here, and. Uh, a construction industry to you know also um, so uh, how am I going to do this well I should probably do that in the next part yeah so we got this operation going now we can do do things this this uh, gravel bit in the next part so I'm gonna need a gravel uh, processing operation and I'm gonna need uh, stone quarries. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, right. I'm going to uh, call this the end of the episode, uh, mostly because, well, it's the end of the episode. I mean, seriously.
Why else would I call it, call it the end of the episode? Right. So that's going to be all for now. So go ahead and like and comment and subscribe if you want to. Or you can leave a dislike if you prefer. I mean, that's cool. Uh, and barring that, you might, uh, you might hit the bell icon. It may or may not give you some sort of a notification, you know, and that may or may not be useful or something, right? And uh, yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of things that we can, that you can do there, uh, you know, might be useful. But in the meantime, uh, you know, go do your thing and I'll see you back next time.